Hey, welcome back to the Genesis Principle Fine Art. I'm Alton Jones. Today I'm back on the canvas continuing on the, the yellow face painting here. I'm working on the right side of it today over here. Just making some adjustments in the oils on the on the sky above the trees there. And also I'll be hopefully getting to the mid-ground today where all this this blank yellow area with all the yellow face. I don't know if you can see that from the angle that I'm sitting at. <coughs> It's an acute angle, so I'm not sure what you can see, but uh, in any case, I'll be back on the canvas in a few minutes and you'll be able to see me painting and continuing on with this piece until it's finished. Not finishing it today though, but hopefully it will be finished soon. Um, so let's get to it. Uh, my intro is going to run and then I'll see you in a few minutes. Roll tape. Roll tape. Yeah, so um, roll tape. Hey, welcome back on the canvas just doing a bit of detailing on the the distant trees in the in the extreme background there they are in the distance but I still want to include a bit of detailing on that even though the detailing is not as vibrant and as visible as the detail on the grass that that are in the foreground um, even though there's not much detailing on them now, just indication of grass in the foreground, but I'll be doing a lot more detailing on the grass in the foreground. But for the background, I still want some indication that it's the top of trees and that it's somewhat faded and the foliage of, are kind of really small and minute. That's important for a particular piece or landscape to, to translate as being more realistic but this midground area is what i'd like to focus on for now and the idea here is to to make this area appear very irregular and and inconsistent so that when it's dried because i work in layerings i'm layering so this is just a part of the layering where i layer in some background colors and some undertones in this area to get rid of this solid line or solid area of yellow so that it, so that it actually appears realistic and and looks like there's actually flowers there individual flowers instead of just a mass of yellow so that's what i'm working on per presently just kind of uh, creating some inconsistencies and breaking the area up by adding a bit of Van Dyke Brown mixed with some earth tone green and a bit of cadmium yellow medium. So those are the colors I'm working with presently, cadmium yellow medium, Van Dyke Brown, earth tone green, and uh, my medium of choice is uh, liquid original which is what I, I typically work with I also work with uh, liquid fine detail but it depends on the type of detailing I'm working on in addition to that I'm using some white spirits to dilute the paint slightly and that's fine at this point because that's an undertone it's an undercolor this is my underneath layers so the 
white spirits is still okay when I'm working over top and I'm doing final coloring I don't use any form of of alcohol or any form of of spirits also stay tuned to the end um, I went out for a little walk and I saw some green-headed ducks and I took some video footage of them I don't know if a lot of people know these types of ducks or they look typical from afar but if you go up close and take a good look at them you'd notice that they're really beautiful birds uh, iridescent spots around their necks and um, very jewel-like colors and so I caught a little bit of video footage of that so check that out at the end of this video and thank you for watching I'll see you in my next video